good morning in this video i will be describing how my two bedroom flat is wired so you will learn here how to wire lighting circuits how to wire socket outlets and how to wire fixed power equipment like cooker ac and water heater etc these are the three types of circuits that you will find in a typical house or a flat before going through this video i strongly suggest you especially if you are a be uh, beginner i suggest you to go through my three of my previous videos in my channel the first video is the uh, this video that is demystifying the distribution board where i have explained the panel board wiring of a typical distribution board Exp and have where I and I have explained all typical wiring since in a uh, small house including you can see here the ring circuit the lighting circuits uh, fixed equipment three phase load and so on The second video I want you to go through is the uh, principle of residual current device. A residual current device also called ELCB or earth leakage circuit breaker is a uh, special type of circuit breaker which helps to protect people from electric shock. So in this video I have uh, explained the principle of the working of RCD. And the third video I want you to go through is the video how to wire an RCD. So in this video actually I have shown uh, specifically how to wire the RCD protected circuits in a distribution board. So I recommend you to go through these videos because then only you may be able to follow uh, comprehend uh, fully the wiring uh, which I am going to describe now. So this is the outside view of the panel board we are going to consider at, uh, in this video. So you can see here there are uh, when the cover is on uh, you, what you can see are some uh, circuit breakers also called MCBs MCB means miniature circuit breaker and there is one uh, bigger mini MCB or M MCCB molded case circuit breaker here and there is a ELCB or a earth leakage circuit breaker also known as RCD. So we will be going uh, in detail uh, about each of these. Uh, Considering the different type of circuit breaker, you can see that there are single pole switches or single pole circuit breakers for which are used for lighting and power, uh, example socket outlets. And there is a three pole circuit breaker which can be used to power a three phase load uh, and so on. And uh, there are some vacant slots also which are not in use. So I when we when I remove the cover, what you can see is uh, shown here. So you can see here. This is the incoming cable uh, which comes from the uh, DB in front of the building, which supplies power to all the flats. Uh, so the incoming cable come here and uh, supply and is connected to this main circuit breaker. This main circuit breaker supplies uh, two groups of loads. One is this group, another is this group. This group is actually not protected by RCD and this group is actually protected by RCD. So if you look at here, you can see that one thing is this is a three phase circuit breaker, uh, th sorry, th three phase uh, distribution board. Three phases are coming here 
and these three faces are available at this uh, section of the panel board uh, and this uh, connection this uh, conductors are called bus bars so you can see here there is a three pole circuit breaker here which is used to connect it to a three phase load and there are some single pay, uh, single pole circuit breaker here which are used to supply single phase load this three pole circuit breaker here is not uh, connected to any three phase load but it is instead it is connected to a three phase rcd or elcb and through this elcb uh, only the remaining loads are connected so that means actually as i will explain later these loads are actually the majority of the loads inside the house uh, where there is a possibility for human contact like uh, lighting circuit water uh, he uh, water heater uh, socket outlets and so on and these are uh, some circuits which are not protected by rcd uh, like uh, fixed equipment like air conditioner and so on so to recap the incomer comes like this it goes to the main circuit breaker the main circuit circuit breaker supplies this uh, circuit breakers and uh, one of them is a three pole circuit breaker which is used to supply a elcb and through the elcb the remaining loads are connected and if you look at the rating of the circuit breaker you can see the incomer has a rating of 100 ampere okay that uh, uh, may depend on the uh, stipulation of the supply authority because sometimes the supply authority may uh, mandate a minimum rating of 100 ampere and so on so in that case we have to use a incoming circuit breaker of 100 ampere and uh, if you look at the rating of this circuit breaker and this elcb you can see that both of them are 40 ampere each and also one thing is actually this is not uh, just an elcb it is called uh, rcbo which i have explained in one of my previous videos that means it will not only prote protect against the uh, electric shock but it will also act as a uh, mc or a circuit breaker also overload uh, which uh, a circuit breaker which will trip when there is an overload or short circuit in any of the circuit that is supplied by it so so you can see that this uh, supply that is coming from the main circuit breaker is uh, used to uh, supply this uh, set of mcbs one of them which is a three phase uh, three pole uh, circuit breaker uh, which again supplies this elcb which then supplies the remaining load and you can note that both of these are 40 ampere and this is for redundancy actually uh, one would have been enough but in case there is a, a malfunction of in uh, in any of this uh, one or the uh, any of this the other is supposed to come to the rescue and uh, one more point you can consider is that uh, actually this is uh, the rating of this main circuit breaker is uh, 100 ampere as i said and this is 40 ampere so obviously the rating is lesser than the uh, circuit breaker prior to it so this is for discrimination discrimination means uh, suppose there is a fault in any of the circuit we expect only the circuit breaker that is actually directly connected to that circuit to trip for example if there is a uh, short circuit in the circuit we want this to trip in case due to some malfunction this doesn't trip then we want this to trip in case this also fails to trip we want to this to trip only if all of this uh, fails to function which is highly unlikely then we want the main circuit breaker to trip so that is the principle called discrimination or selective tripping and one last point to consider here is the uh, specification of this elcb which is 30 milliampere 30 milliampere is the uh, current which is supposed to uh, set off this uh, circuit breaker in case there is a short from between phase and neutral 
as i mentioned before please go through my previous video on the principle of uh, uh, rcd to learn more about this now let us go uh, uh, a little more deep into the uh, structure of this uh, distribution board so on the left side of the distribution board you can see a uh, earth terminal and uh, on the right side you can see two uh, sets of neutrals in the in my video on the wiring of rcd i have explained why these two uh, neutral bars are required in a uh, distribution board which supplies loads uh, through rcd and uh, outside rcd so please go through that video to learn more about that so coming back to here you can see here there are two neutral uh, bars uh, and uh, this neutral bar is used to supply uh, the load that is connected through the rcd and this is the main neutral bar which is used to connect to the to the load that is connected to, uh, that is no, no the, the load that is not connected to the rcd now uh, uh, looking close more closely this is the incoming cable which comes from the uh, db outside the flat uh, it can be the db in front of the uh, main building or it can be come from a riser that is uh, coming from the db that is uh, coming to the main building and this is a closer look of the outside uh, outgoing circuit so these are actually the conduits which will uh, through which the outgoing circuit is wired inside the uh, throughout the flat so the wire will be going through these conduits and it will be supplied to various rooms and this is the db schedule this uh, is a piece of paper that is stuck outside the uh, stuck inside the uh, or, or stuck on the door that is uh, door of the distribution board and it shows how the you can see that uh, it shows the arrangement of the uh, supply inside the distribution board as we have already seen this is the main breaker which supplies a set of uh, breakers here and uh, one three phase uh, three pole breaker is used to tap off to a rcd or elcb and uh, this elcb supplies the rest of the load here uh, the each of the the this figure shows the actual load that is connected to each of these breakers for example here you can see here this uh, top mcb which is a single pole 10 ampere M mcb uh, protects three number of lights at a dining and kitchen and one exhaust fan similarly the second mcb protects three number of lights at a bath and a water closet plus two exhaust fan and so on so we will be going in more detail uh, by looking at the plan of the flat and how and we will see how uh, the wiring is done So actually this is the plan of my two bedroom flat as you can see here so the entrance is here and I, uh, we have a hall here dining come hall there are two bathrooms here one kitchen two bedroom and a balcony and the distribution board is kept here now we will go into more detail about the uh, how the different circuits are wired so for convenience and for ease of understanding i have placed the uh, the actual picture of the db on the left side so that we i, will, I can easily show the how the wiring is uh, taken from the mcb uh, the uh, distribution board so we will uh, divide the types of load into three as i have shown in one of my uh, introductory slides one is the lighting load lighting load means the 
uh, load that is connected to uh, that is supplying uh, all the lighting loads like uh, uh, all the lighting loads and luminates like tube lights incandescent lamp led lamp and so on uh, you can see here in the hole there are two uh, uh, tube lights in the uh, and there is one each in the two bedrooms and uh, there are other types of luminaries in the two bathrooms uh, kitchen and uh, another type of luminar in the uh, balcony and one thing you can notice that actually the exhaust fan in the uh, kitchen as well as the two bathrooms are supplied from the lighting circuit only that is because that is a very low power uh, load and so it can be supplied from the lighting load you may keep in mind that the lighting load has the least power among the circuits we are considering uh, compared to socket outlets or fixed equipment the lighting loads have the the least amount of load or the uh, i mean uh, they draw the least amount of current and uh, actually because this exhaust fan draw uh, are uh, uh, working using a particular type of motor called universal motor uh, which is draw which draws very le uh, less power we can connect the exhaust fan to the lighting load itself also you can see here single pole switches which are used to control each of these loads so i will be going through how the wiring is done for each of these loads so firstly we firstly we will consider how the wiring is done for the luminaries uh, in the uh, dining home the uh, dining room you can see there are two uh, tube lights here and if you if you look at the db schedule here the first uh, mcb from the top on the right side supplies three numbers of lighting at a dining and kitchen and one exhaust fan that means this is supposed to this mcb uh, we'll go back here this mcb the first mcb is supposed to supply this three luminaires this two tube lights and this luminar as well as the exhaust fan in the kitchen so we will see how the wiring is done for each of these so first we will see start with this luminar so we, normally we will be using a junction box uh, to take uh, to connect the uh, any load so that we can uh, connect them to the next load uh, in an easy manner so what we will do be doing is we start with this uh, the phase from this and we connect the phase to this uh, mcb and we go to the uh, this junction box will have a three terminals one terminal is called a line another is called a loop and the third one is called neutral and this mcb will be connected to the terminal l and this uh, this will go to the single uh, pole switch here and uh, from the other terminal of the single pole switch it will go to the loop and from the loop it will be going to the uh, luminar that is the tube light and from the two and then uh, then we have to consider the neutral we take one uh, neutral uh, terminal we start from one neutral terminal and connect it to this uh, neutral terminal of the junction box and from there connect it to the neutral terminal of the tube light you may note that i am connect taking a neutral connection to this neutral bar which is reserved for the rcd connected load and i should not connect it to the the main neutral bar here the reason i have explained well in uh, one of my previous videos which i uh, mentioned before so please go through it if you are not aware of the differences and also you may note that there is no neutral in the uh, there is no switch for the neutral there is only switch for the uh, phase only so that's the reason there are two terminals for the phases and but for the neutral you are directly connecting from the neutral to the luminar without using a switch
Next we will consider how we extend this wiring to the next tube light. As I have we have seen in the, from the DB schedule, the same MCB is connecting is supplying uh, different loads. This load, this load, this load, and this load, as mentioned in the DB schedule. So to make it possible, uh, and I have as I have explained in the video on the uh, DB wiring. Actually, uh, additional loads should be connected in parallel. Technically, they are connected in parallel to the previous loads. So to connect that in parallel, we have to use an additional uh, junction box. And uh, as you can see here, what we will do is, so we tap from the line terminal of this junction box to the line terminal of the next junction box and from the neutral terminal of this junction box to the neutral terminal of the uh, next junction box and following the same pattern of bef uh, before as we have seen before we completed the wiring for the switch and the luminar so this wiring is called a radial circuit wiring radial circuit wiring means we are not uh, connecting it in a ring this will be mo made more clear when we uh, talk about the socket wiring uh, while connecting all this load you have to make sure that the MCB that is supplying all this load should be rated for the total load that is connected to it so we will consider how to uh, connect the remaining load by following the same pattern we can connect to this low the this light and this exhaust fan because as we have seen in the db schedule this uh, mcb is connecting three lamps and one exhaust fan so that is done like this i have completed in the same fashion i have mentioned before i have completed the wiring as follows so you can see that this junction box is connected to this junction box which is used to supply this luminar and from this junction box it is uh, connected to this junction box which is uh, uh, supplying this uh, uh, exhaust fan and uh, one thing you may note that actually there is an earth is not wired for this circuit that is because some uh, the earth may not be wired for all the uh, circuits uh, depending on the regulations uh, sometimes it's possible that some lighting circuit may require earth, uh, earth connection so in that case we have to wire the earth also the wiring of the earth will be considered when we uh, discuss the uh, wiring of the power circuit because the power circuit ma is uh, earth is mandatory for power circuit which will uh, consider soon so this is an example for a junction box i have mentioned here so this type is called a ceiling rose so as an assignment you can go through the different terminals here loop terminal line terminal and just try to follow how the wiring is done as shown here for example you can see that there is an incoming cable here there is an outgoing cable here and there is a switch cable here and there is a uh, lamp cable here all these are shown here there is a incomer there is a outgoer and there is a switch cable and there is a lamp cable try to follow uh, the uh, actual wiring to the different terminals by following this wiring diagram this is an assignment for you uh, at the same time you may note that uh, actually this figure I uh, I got uh, is not using the uh, the color convention which I am following uh, here so here the blue is it should consider as such a neutral and brown should be considered as a line but in other places i am considering red as the face and uh, black as the neutral now we will extend the same principle for wiring the remaining uh, lighting circuit for example if we consider the db schedule 
you can see that there are three number of lighting at the bedroom one two and the balcony so how this wiring is done so if you look at the plan you can see that there are three uh, luminaires in the bedroom one bedroom two and the balcony so we can follow the exactly the same method uh, as we have seen in the db schedule it is applied from this third mcb on the right from the top so that means it is connected from the third mcb it is connected to the junction box and it, uh, it can be used to supply this luminar and uh, similarly for uh, this case we have to take a uh, another neutral terminal from the uh, from this neutral bar as i have explained before similarly we can extend this wiring by supply for supplying to the remaining load that is these two luminaires by using two junction boxes and uh, actually that wind up uh, our discussion of the uh, lighting circuits so as an assignment uh, you please consider the the remaining uh, lighting and exhaust fan circuit that is uh, that is uh, present in this uh, two bathrooms so follow the same method identify the db and complete the circuit as an assignment next we will consider the power circuit power circuit means these are the circuit uh, which are either supplied portable equipment that are uh, supplied through the socket outlets or it can be fixed equipment like ac water heater and so on and in this uh, particular uh, wiring uh, the bell is also connected uh, to the power circuit so as i explained in the uh, db uh, panel wiring uh, video uh, we have to connect the it is mandatory to connect the socket outlets in a ring fashion uh, and you can note that the type of powering circuit uh, power circuit here also includes the water heater in some cases some flats may have cooker also in that case but in my flat there is no uh, separate uh, outlet for cooker so if there is a cooker outlet you have to add that also here so as i mentioned we have to use a uh, ring circuit for connecting the uh, socket uh, sockets so if you look at the db diagram the a 30 ampere mcb is used to supply five number of 13 ampere ring main socket at the dining and kitchen and the uh, including the bell so that means uh, these are the five socket outlets one two three four five in the hall and the kitchen and also this ring also include the bell so it can be wired through that mcb we have seen here the 30 ampere mcb the connection start from there goes through to the bell the, to the line terminal of the bell then goes to the line terminal of the first socket second socket third socket fourth fifth and finally it comes back to the same terminal in this uh, so uh, in this uh, uh, mcb to complete the ring similarly uh, we can complete the neutral wire connection in a similar manner so you can see that the neutral wire is also connected in in a, uh, in a ring fashion uh, to terminate at the starting point on the neutral bar similarly we can also complete the earth terminal uh, sorry earth wire the earth wire also you have to you can take from one terminal here and form a ring uh, you can see that in this particular case the uh, bell, bell doesn't need a earth wire uh, if it is inside the wire you have to connect that also so it will be 
form a, a ring in this manner. So one question may arise, what is the how many socket you can connect in uh, a single ring? That depends on the regulation. For example, the British standard, as far as I remember, don't specify any limit to the number of socket. But some countries uh, specify a limit like 10 sockets and so on. But no matter the what is the amount of socket, uh, number of sockets, uh, keep in mind that we have to make sure the power rating of the uh, equipment that is connected to the uh, so the all the sockets in together should not exceed the 30 ampere rating that is the rating for the MCB that is protecting this circuit and uh, as an assignment draw the ring circuit for the two bedroom here so you can see here if you look at the DB schedule uh, this uh, 30 ampere MCB is applying four number of ring main socket at the bedroom one and two so as an assignment you can complete the ring circuit for the this bedroom uh, for so uh, socket outlet for the bedroom one and two and uh, finally the third category of equipment that we want to complete the wiring is the fixed equipment so actually there are uh, the fixed equipment we have is three window ac and one water heater and you can we have seen uh, we can see that this water heater should be supplied through the rcd because that is a uh, shock hazard uh, the, uh, that's an equipment with a shock ha hazard potential source shock hazard uh, so that means it should be supplied through this uh, uh, mcb here that we can double check at the uh, db you can see that db schedule in the db schedule the what uh, the water heater is supplied uh, through the 15 ampere or we can use also use 20 ampere mcb in the in this group of rcd protected uh, circuit so uh, if we consider one of the uh, ac uh, the window ac so and uh, if you look at the db schedule you can see that this ac is supplied from this r phase uh, through a 20 ampere mcb and this mcb protects the ac and also you, you have to uh, keep in mind that this fixed equipment uh, this uh, high power fixed equipment should have its own circuit its own circuit means it should be protected by a single uh, mcb which means we cannot connect other load in parallel to this load under any circumstances uh, by law uh, because uh, previously we have we have seen how the lightings can be connected in uh, in a cascade uh, by being protected by a single mcb but that is not allowed for a fixed equipment if you there is an on equipment you have to use a, a single mcb for that so in this case this uh, window type ac is protected by a mcb that is uh, not uh, protected by an elcb and uh, you can see here the wiring here from here the wiring is coming to the uh, line uh, terminal of this window type ac similarly the neutral terminal should be taken from the main neutral bar not the neutral bar that is uh, available here uh, for the rcd connected loads but it should be from the main neutral bar it should be connected to the window uh, ac neutral terminal Similarly, we can connect the uh, complete the wiring by connecting a earth wire to the uh, earth terminal. Here, uh, similarly, there are three other uh, fixed equipment: water heater, two other uh, uh, window AC. You may, as I have already mentioned, there may be also a separate cooker circuit. In that case, also we have to you have to use a dedicated a circuit breaker and a dedicated circuit for that cooker circuit and uh, <coughs> while connecting this 
uh, fixed equipment like a window AC or cooker etc. Normally we have to connect it through a flux outlet and a DP switch. This I had already mentioned in my previous video on the uh, consumer means wiring. I have you can see here if there is a fixed equipment we have to wire it to a DP switch. DP switch means it is a two pole switch uh, which can be used to isolate both line and neutral for additional safety. So that I have shown here uh, for one of the window of AC in my flat you can see the DP switch here. And also in addition it will be it will not be directly connected to the AC but it will be connected through a flex outlet. So this flex outlet uh, is uh, a dedicated outlet for this window AC uh, for uh, additional safety and protection. So it is mainly a, a provision to uh, connect the flexible cable to the uh, line neutral terminal and uh, the earth terminal. And uh, to already I have mentioned the different circuit breakers we have used and uh, this was uh, I also mentioned in the video uh, I showed you regarding this consumer means wiring. So for a lighting circuit we were using uh, mainly a 10 ampere circuit uh, MCB. For a, a socket outlet we were using a 30 ampere and uh, for a fixed equipment we were using a 20 ampere MCB. One question uh, may come to your mind. Uh, as we have seen, we sometimes we connect the different uh, light uh, luminaires in cascade. So, what should be can we should we use always a 10 ampere uh, or a fixed ampere uh, MCB? The answer is actually as a thumb rule, you can follow this chart. If you are using only up to 600 watt, the one the uh, load we have considered in this flat are actually much less than 600 watt but if the load is up to 600 watt you can use 5 ampere or no at least a 10 ampere uh, 10 ampere preferably you can use a 10 ampere but if it is from 600 to 1200 watt you have to use a 10 ampere circuit breaker and from 1200 to 1800 watt you have to use a 15 ampere circuit breaker the corresponding conductor sizes are shown here. Uh, actually, we have used only a 10 ampere for all the lighting circuit here. That is because, uh, as we have seen, uh, sometimes the lighting circuit are used to supply the exhaust fan load. Uh, actually, the exhaust fan may draw a uh, slightly higher starting current on the when it is switched on. So it is better to uh, supply the uh, uh, supply the lighting circuit using a 10 ampere circuit breaker capacity. So that wind up the uh, wiring for the entire flat which encompasses the lighting circuit, power circuit as well as the fixed equipment circuit. One last assignment I would like to uh, to complete is watch my video demystifying the distribution board where i uh, have explained the consumer means wiring and identify the wire sizes the wire sizes i did not go in detail here but uh, you know there are we use different wire sizes for lighting power and so on and fixed equipment so watch this video and identify the wire sizes i have used here so thanks for watching this video Subscribe to my channel for uh, what, uh, getting new updates. So till we meet next time, goodbye.